Hey everyone, I'm Zach Beach with SmartRealEstateCoach.com, bringing you another Deal Structure Sunday. Uh, key lesson with this deal before we jump into it is uh, never give up on a deal, especially if a seller is going to give you the ability to stretch this out a long time. Uh, with this property, uh, the seller actually had the home on the market, I think, looking back now, for at least a year to a year and a half. We then jumped in and he still wanted to sell with a realtor, so we said, okay, well, you can continue to list with a realtor. Not something we do that often, but uh, it was in a new territory, so we weren't sure if we were going to be able to pop it right away. Um, needless to say, it ended up taking us another six months. Um, the property kind of sat on the market. We made some adjustments uh, with the, the monthly payment, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, and eventually got it popped, but it took us about six months. And then when the summer rolled around, uh, we actually had a great um, couple that were looking to purchase in the area and uh, were able to pop it. But again, just don't give up on the deals, especially if a seller is going to give you that ability to do so. Okay, so we're going to call this uh, deal structure 25PG, and this is a lease purchase. So we purchased it on a lease purchase agreement. Um, purchase price, $319.9. So I bought that from the seller for $319.9 on a term of 36 months. And the monthly payment is... 1974, I think 99. That is principal, interest, taxes, and insurance. Uh, happens to be in an area where the taxes are pretty high. Um, we then sold the property for 344.9. I believe we gave them a 30 month term. Uh, I think they came back, the buyers came back as a um, 24 month term uh, to become mortgage ready uh, for a mortgage readiness date. Uh, so we gave them 30 months. That way we gave ourselves the ability of six months in case there were to be any defaults. We still had plenty of time in order to get the property sold uh, either traditionally or by other means. Uh, we ended up uh, selling this property for 1600 a month plus taxes. Taxes are roughly 400 a month. So not a, not a big spread here. We're coming out of pocket 1974. We're taking in about 2000. Um, what we did, and if you've watched other deal structures, what we do is uh, we continue to lower the monthly payment because that is um, the number one concern when you're working with a tenant buyer is their month to month cash flow. So we lowered it, took out the taxes, uh, then we sold it for 1600 and then added the taxes back in because these are buyers. They're gonna get used to paying the taxes on the property. And if you look at it with the mortgage, uh, what, roughly what they're gonna get, they're gonna be right around that $2,000 mark. So um, that's what gave us the ability to get that one sold. So we add the taxes back in and it gave us roughly a $25 spread. And we'll go over that in payday number two. Um, the uh, buyers, they came in with $16,000 down for our payday one. I believe at the table, they came in with $9,000 plus their first month's rent, uh, which we collect, um, plus, uh, uh, plus um, the attorney fees or anything like that. But uh, $9,000 that counts towards the purchase price. We then scheduled over the next 24 months to come up with the remainder, uh, which brought us to a $16,000 total deposit. We are getting $25 a month in spread, so you times that by, we're gonna always base everything on full term. So 36 months, it gives us $900. Huge spread numbers here. Uh, but it ends up being a good deal in the long run. So uh, sometimes you're gonna make adjustments and base uh, your you know, judgment on the deal, on the entire deal, not just based on one, uh, one payday. Uh, payday number three, so let's break this down. So we bought it for 344.9. 
I'm sorry, we sold it for $344.9. We bought it for $319.9. So there's a spread there of $25,000. We've already taken in $16,000. So you got to take that $25,000 and minus the $16,000. Which is going to give us another 9,000. 9,000 left from the premium. Plus, we got a principal pay down of roughly 476 a month times 36 months, which is going to give you 17,136. So that's the principal over the last 36 months. So let's total this up. So you have 16,000 plus the remaining 9,000 plus the 900 in spread plus the 17,136 in principle gives you a total of 43,036. So Total three paydays, 43,036. Well below our average because our average is somewhere between 75 and $80,000. But this was a deal that we almost uh, decided to just throw away that we thought was 100% dead. So uh, $43,000 kind of coming out of nowhere uh, from a dead deal is a, is a great deal in my book. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video. If you're following us on YouTube right now, make sure to subscribe uh, if you're enjoying these uh, deal structure Sundays. Uh, also, comment below if you have any questions. We'd be more than happy to answer those. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this Sunday and uh, look forward to bringing you some more videos. Thanks so much for watching that video. You know, I'm going to try to come out with more and more deal structuring videos so that you know exactly how to navigate the sometimes tricky waters of doing deals all on your terms. That means no cash, no credit, no chasing investors, none of that. You being able to navigate on deals. Now, how would you like to do those deals on your own, like clockwork, every single month, eventually one a week? How would you like to do that? How would you like to be putting those three paydays in your pocket that consistently? Well, there's one way to do it if you haven't done it yet, and that's to jump on our Quantum Leap System home study program. It's right here below. Click the link. Grab the QLS. If you're serious about making this year your breakthrough year, you'll be able to do the same deal structuring that we're showing right now. The big difference is instead of watching, you'll be putting the dollars in your pocket. Hey, be sure to subscribe below as well so you don't miss any of these videos. Uh, look, I don't know if you're going to take action on the QLS. You should right below here. But if you don't, definitely don't miss any of these videos. Subscribe below, and I look forward to seeing you on the future videos. Take care.